So now let's talk about how we can take care of that by eating smaller meals more frequently. So eating five or six times a day and choosing to eat high protein, low carb, low fat. We don't spike that glucose very high, so it goes up just a little bit. So if you can picture the baby roller coaster in kitty land, okay? Smaller hill, so the sugar goes up just a little bit and it goes back down again. And in response, your insulin spike or your insulin pump fires only a little bit, so it's on a baby roller coaster too. So smaller hills, much more even blood sugar, and if we can do that five or six times a day, we actually keep your blood glucose level very, very stable. So your level of insulin in your body actually goes down. When that happens, you're not gonna store fat, and um, your body's gonna be less inflamed. So that's a good way to kind of picture it. Picture the big roller coaster and the baby roller coaster. So, and there's a lot of people that, I've seen this a lot, where people don't eat during the day. They don't eat breakfast, they don't eat lunch because they're gonna go out to dinner with their friends and they wanna save all their calories for the dinner that they're gonna have and they're gonna eat way too much at. So, but when you do that, you actually shut your metabolism down. So. By not fueling every, five, every two to three hours or five or six times a day, you actually are turning your, your, basic meta, your basal metabolic rate down. And um, so you're not burning calories efficiently. So the next time you eat, your body thinks, well, I don't know when my next meal is going to be, so it's going to store everything you're eating. And so um, that's another way how people start to accumulate weight they're not eating properly, they're not fueling the furnace, they're not allowing their body to burn calories all throughout the day. So when, when we teach um, you know, people to eat properly, we want them to eat five or six times a day so that they, we stoke the furnace every two to three hours, we keep your blood sugar even, and we keep your insulin pump from spiking too high. And that's how we can eat healthier and actually maybe lose weight.